I'm here unboxing the Buckfu Lake GH3 stereo gaming headset, which works with your PC or your console. It's a 3.5 millimeter gaming headset that uses a USB plug for the lights on the side. Comes in three colors, blue, red, green. You can see I got the blue one here and they're 50 millimeter dynamic drivers. Um, so we'll go ahead and see how they sound, test them out with my PlayStation 5 console and my PC. Pulling it out of the box here. You can see it is a relatively thick braided cord. The cord is relatively long. You've got your USB cable and your 3.5 millimeter cable. Again, the USB cable is only for the light, says so on the box and on the product. It's really, the USB is only for power. So you don't need to use the USB cable unless you just want the light on the side of the headset. It's mostly just a 3.5 millimeter jack. You've got a mic mute switch on and off here and that you can click there. And then of course you got your volume dial on the side control box here. The length of the cord comes with a nice little Velcro tie on it, which is nice. The headset itself has relatively soft pleather, pliable uh, ear cups. You've got your mesh um, inside. You've got your sliding microphone that slides up and down. I wonder if it auto mutes. I'll find out if it auto mutes if you slide it up. That would be a nice feature. And of course you got the headband, which expands as well. So I'm going to go ahead and try it on, test it with the PlayStation 5 and let you know how it sounds, how the sound is on the headphones as well as how the mic is, you can hear for yourself. So I'm here letting you hear the microphone quality of the Buckfu Lake headset which I'm using right now. The headset comes with a control box where you can control the volume on the side on how the game sound is which is not too bad and it's got a mic mute switch, I could switch it right now. And so the mic mute switch works fine. Now I would have liked for you to mute by turning the headset all the way up at the top, but it does not appear to mute if you turn the headset up at the top. That would have been a nice feature is if you could just slide it up and mute it as well, like if you're in the middle of the gaming instead of having to film fumble and do the mute switch. But the mute switch is fine enough and, and easy enough, especially when you have the PS5, which has a mute button right on the controller itself. So this is the mic quality test. Um, I could tell you that the, the light up looks pretty nice. The lights on the side, the USB ports only used for the lights. It's not used for anything else. It is a stereo headset, so you're not going to get 3D sound. You're not going to get virtual 7.1 sound. The headset band is a little stiff and it does expand, but it, it is a little stiff. I wouldn't say it's overly uncomfortable, but I, it, I could see how you could wear it. It's kind of tight at first. You need to break it in and loosen it up, but it is a little stiff. I would have preferred it to be a little more uh, loose or have a little more flexibility right at these joints here or possibly have a little bit of pivoting ear cups or a little bit of flexibility here because it wants to bend in on your head pretty tightly. Now it makes a tight fit but it is just a little bit tight.